In this lecture, let's understand what is data binding in Angular. And from the next lecture, we will implement data binding in our Angular application. So what is data binding? Data binding is a very useful feature of Angular and it allows us to communicate between a component class and its corresponding view template. Let's understand this with a simple example. So for every component, we have a component class and for that component class, we have corresponding view template. Now in the component class, we specify the UI logic. So we create properties and methods. Now these properties and methods can be used in the view template of that component. So as you can see, inside this view template, we are using this title property. In the same way, we are using this slogan property. And we are also using this display property here. And these properties are defined in the component class, as you can see here. So whenever the value of these property will change, it will reflect in the view template. That means it will also reflect in the web page. So here we are passing data from the component class to view template. Now it is also possible to pass data from view template to component class. So let's say in the web page we have a text box and whenever a user enters some value in that text box, we want to assign that value to a property, to the property of the component class. So in that case, the data will transfer from view template to component class. And this is what data binding is. Using data binding, we can pass data from the component class to view template or from the view template to its corresponding component class. Now, data binding can be classified into two types, one-way data binding and two-way data binding. In case of one-way data binding, the data flows in one direction. So one-way data binding is when we can access component class property in the corresponding view template. And this can be achieved using string interpolation or property binding in Angular. We will talk about string interpolation and property binding in our coming lectures. Now, one-way data binding also means that we can pass data from view template to its corresponding component class. And this can be achieved using event binding in Angular. And again, we are going to talk about event binding in our coming lectures. So remember that in case of one-way data binding, the data flows only in one direction. Either it will flow from component class to its corresponding view template or from the view template to its corresponding component class. Then we also have two-way data binding. Two-way data binding binds data from the component class to view template and from the view template to component class. So this is a combination of property binding and event binding. Again, let's understand this with an example. So let's say in the web page we have a text box and whatever value user enters in that text box, we want to assign that value to the property of the component class. In the same way, Whenever the value of that property changes in the component class, we want to display that value in the text box in the web page. So here the data is flowing in both directions and this is what a two-way data binding is. So this was a very high level overview of what is data binding in Angular and what are the different types of data binding available in Angular. From the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's implement data binding in our Angular application. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.